We're here today at Sub CNC Precision at their new facility. Great to see the investment, how busy they are, and also to see the coolant and oil saver in action and doing its business. We're going to be doing a walkthrough with Jan, the managing director, and we'll also be speaking to George about some of the benefits of the coolant and oil saver. Okay, let's go. Hi Jason, how are you doing? I'm very well, yourself? Not too bad in Camden Con. It's really great to be here. So thank you very much for the opportunity. Welcome. Great new facility, new machines. Can we go and have a look at them? Yeah, of course. Okay. This way. So we, um, since November last year, yeah. we acquired two new machines specific for medical work. Yep. One of them was a Citizen L32. Okay. And as you saw further up there, we're getting a Citizen L12 Excellent. installed today. More machines. <laughs> yeah, more machines. So, obviously the L32. Yeah, we've got the oil we, saver. We installed an oil saver on it as well. Yeah. Um, as we've spoke about in the past, we, we run a lot unattended here between yeah. the hours of 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Yeah. And it's very important that we've got process stability, and the machine uptime is Brilliant. maximum as possible. There's no, there's no chance now that it runs dry or anything like no, that? No, not so at all. Alarm, no. Continues running. Yeah, that's Perfect. right. Yeah. I mean, in the early days, we because we use LFB technology, yeah. what would happen, the, the chips, the swarf is very small. Yeah. The oil compacts and sticks to right. it. You could potentially come in, in the morning, the hopper's oh, full of oil, yeah. the machine stops running. So you're potentially losing yeah. six to eight hours yeah, runtime. Time, so, yeah, right, yeah, right, right. Okay. So what we've got over here? So we've got a coolant saver on the on our Miano BNE over here. Right. So you mostly all, mostly need oil, and you've got one machine on this side. Yeah, ninety yeah? percent need oil. So we've got a couple of machines on soluble. Um, again, same scenario. This machine runs unattended throughout the lights out shift and out weekend. So the oil, the coolant saver is very important right. for That's us. Excellent. Well, Thanks very much, Jan. Been no great. problem. Good Thanks to see you. Thank you. Thank you. And look forward to seeing the next machine coming in. Excellent. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Sir. Another standard piece of equipment we fit to all of our machines is the Rugard oil saver. Um, with every machine, you have a bar feeder, you need a swarf conveyor, you need a hopper to collect all, your, all of your waste, and equally important is an oil saver. The reason for that is that we operate a 24 hour shift pattern, but only the day shift is a man's shift. So we need to put certain procedures in place to make sure the machine won't stop during the night. One of those is the oil saver. So out of here, we get waste materials, stainless steels, wharf, um, aluminium, brass, whatever. And with that raw material comes oil. So it dumps it all into here and it'll collect. And without the oil saver, we'll gradually fill this bin with not only metal, but oil during the night. So you can imagine the cost savings involved in stopping at 12 o'clock at night instead of six o'clock in the morning. You're losing six hours of productivity. And when you're running a machine like this, that's volume production and you're trying to be competitive, you need those extra hours. So the Miano also has a coolant saver, just like the oil saver, the device returns coolant from the swarf bin back into the machine. It helps us with the unmanned running, like I've already spoken about, but for us, the other benefit is we're decontaminating the swarf. We're buying in raw materials, we're cutting it, and we're creating swarf. And we need to recycle that, so decontamination, get rid of the coolant, is good for the environment. The benefit for us, of course, is that we're putting it back into the machine, so we've got that recycle. We don't have to remix coolant unnecessarily because we're returning it straight out of the swarf bin. 